Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, I got a request to test out the new Kingsoft uh, Cloud Antivirus Free Edition. Um, uh, beta, I think it's version 10. And you can kind of see what it looks like right now. It is fully updated. I'll show you right now. And while it's doing that, there you go, you can see. It has uh, auto protect, USB protection, self defense, cloud security, IM, and download protection. It's got some tools here, different services you can buy, uh, forum, help, that type of stuff. Different settings you can change, but uh, I'm just going to leave everything the way it is, like I always do. So let's get to testing here. I got some uh, fairly fresh links. Uh, I will say something, this computer does feel um, pretty light, so I'm just going to check out here see what kind of RAM usage we got for it. Not too bad, we got uh, 10, 15 or 16, something like that megs, not too bad, but um, the computer itself is actually pretty quick. So let's get going. Okay, auto protect detected a virus. There you go. To be deleted. So I found that one. Doesn't look like it found that one. Okay, that one looks like it's not working anymore. Oh, but I know why. I accidentally didn't copy the whole address. Oh, never mind. Okay, nothing yet. So one out of, uh, oh, there we go, got that one. Two out of, two out of five. It's not looking too good right now. Now these are signed. Now these might not be... It looks like that one was signed. Now where I found these links, I'm almost sure that they're some kind of malware. They might not be viruses or trojans, um, but they could be um, spyware or adware, that type of thing. Kind of like what uh, the S toolbar is sometimes. depending on uh, who writes the signature for it. Let's see if this will get it to work. last one here. Okay, so let me check out Task Manager here, see what we got floating around. Don't see anything in the short list. Let's see if we see anything here. Uh -huh. Something masquerading around is uTorrent. Oh, okay, here we go. 
Cloud Defense has found three different things. Let's view the details. Okay, so we have three things that need to be deleted on restart. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart and then do a full system scan, and I will be back when the full system scan with Kingsoft is done. So I'll see you then. All right. So I finished scanning here, and I do got to give them a lot of credit. Um, scanning was 11 minutes. It was doing 100 files a second, so they have definitely improved the uh, scanning here. Um, it detected three viruses, all in temporary internet files, and it deleted all of them, so that's good. And now I'm going to grab um, the, uh, I'm going to grab my testing tools, run CCleaner, install Malwarebytes, and run that. So I will be back after Malwarebytes finishes uh, scanning. Okay, so for some odd reason, something's running in the background that's stopping Malwarebytes from running. So I ran Norton Power Eraser, and you can see it actually found some things. We have uh, something right now that's running from temp file. We know that this is a... I know that that's a bad file. And I'm just going to go through all of these, and it looks like it's actually found a, a good number of uh, infections here running that shouldn't be running at all. So I'm going to use Norton Power Eraser here to um, clean it up, and then I'm going to restart, and I'm going to try to run Malwarebytes again. Um, after that, I'll, s I'll come back with the scan from Malwarebytes, and um, I'll see you then. Alright, so after finally running uh, Norton Power Eraser, it uh, let me run Malwarebytes, and you can see that as good as Norton says their Power Eraser is, look how many things it missed. So that's why it's good to have a, a lot of different tools. So you can see that we definitely have uh, adware, just a bunch of adware right now on the computer. A couple of files and uh, registry keys that were changed. So uh, I'm going to remove all of them. And um, nothing needs a restart because nothing was active in memory. And then I'm going to run right now, I'm going to run uh, Hitman Pro and see if that finds anything. So I'll be right back. All right, so instead of uh, running Hitman Pro, I decided to run uh, A squared, and you see it found one thing, so I'm gonna remove that, and then I'm gonna run Hitman Pro. So I'll be back after that's done. All right, so um, looks like Hitman Pro found one more file, a risk square file, characteristics of a of being uh, risk square from. Uh, Note 32, adware. So you can see there's still um, a lot of things that got by um, Kingsoft. So um, in the end, uh, hold on one sec. Okay, so I'm back. So um, in the end, they still have uh, a lot of work to do on uh, their AV. I let a little bit too much stuff through. It is free though. Um, I just hope that they work on getting their signatures uh, up and running a little bit better. So that's it on uh, this review. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but we'll see when that gets to it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll talk to everybody later.